It's no secret us Aussies take great pride in doing well. We love Test cricket. The fans rally around it. The media gets behind it. The players give it top priority. And the Aussie summer of 22-23 saw a lot happen. As a proud Aussie myself, I thought I must look back at the Aussie summer of cricket and share a few of my thoughts with you, powered by Sportsbet.io. Australia did not lose a single test match in this season. Two big test wins against the Windies and a 2-0 series win against South Africa. Some might say the challenges this summer weren't as daunting as we'd like, but you know what? You take a 4-0 overall result any day of the week. With a 2-0 win series against South Africa, the Aussies brought themselves one step closer to the finals of the World Test Championship where they might be facing India. But we'll talk about that a little bit later on. Against South Africa, we saw the Aussies top order score a ton of runs and they were absolutely having a party. David Warner's sensational double hundred at the MCG tells us that the men is getting ready to score even more runs. He's very, very hungry, very dangerous. Watch this zone because India is up next. And with this top of form, he want to prove himself as his below par test record in India needs to be fixed. Usman Khawaja, Manus Lubbershay and Steve Smith have proved to be the jukebox of runs. It's been such a delight to see them bat the way that they have. However, it is an aging top order and it is an issue for Cricket Australia. And I think the selectors will have to think about the solutions not only in the next 12 months, but over the next two years. Now, as a fast bowler, what gives me great joy is to see Australia's pace depth, so many options, and so many great bowling depths. In addition to the seasoned Pat Cummins, Josh Hazelwood, there's Scott Boland, Michael Nisa, and Lance Morris, the quickest gun in the West, who I believe that can bowl well over 150. Now, of course we know about Sean Abbott and Mark Steckerty, who are waiting in the wings, but there is a bucket of wickets in domestic cricket that they have taken. Whilst Mitchell Stark is out with a finger injury and young Joe Richardson out with a hamstring issue, once they're fit, they'll be happy to get back into this strange setup, and this is good news for Australian cricket. Now, Travis Head, in the five test matches in this Australian summer, he scored a 50 in every test match, got over 500 runs, what a phenomenal season. I think that the exciting thing for him is that he's now well established in the Australian setup. So watch out for him. He's a great player of spin, and I believe he'll do well over in India. Another exciting name is the all rounder Cameron Green. Now, people 12, 18 months ago have never heard of Cameron Green. He's now a household name, and I believe Indian cricket fans would have heard more of him during the IPL auction recently when the Mumbai Indians picked him up for a lazy 17.5 crawls. It is unbelievable, but you know what? What on him? Now this guy's gonna be so crucial for the Australians that he lends balance to the 11. The fact that he's hit a 50 with a broken finger at the MCG shows that he's got the true blue Aussie talent and he's a fighter. He's gonna be crucial for the Aussies in India. So just hope that he recovers in time for the first test, but watch out for Cameron Green. He's got good bounce, good carry, and smacks it with the bat. And also maybe Manus Lubbershane, seam up bowling, and Steve Smith, I believe Smitty needs to bowl more in test cricket. He's got 20 wickets, he's got a good wrongin', got a great leggy, he might do well against India. And finally, Nathan Lyon, the GOAT, he's gone past 460 test wickets to his name. He's picked up 22 wickets for the summer, looked a little bit frustrated at times, but I think that when he gets over to India, he will play a crucial role because there's four tests against India in this test series. Now, Nathan, he will roar like a lion on these Indian pitches. So watch out, Coley and Co. Nathan Lyon is on his way over. Rohit Sharma as well, be warned. Nathan Lyon's of spin, turn and burn. So there we have it. That's my synopsis of the Australian summer. Tell me your thoughts on the way forward for the Aussies and I'll be seeing you right here very soon, right on this channel, powered to you by sportsbet.io.